favorite Christmas cards are those that incorporate family photos. And this year I've decided to make Franny and Sharky the subject of my Christmas card. To make a card that looks like this, look how beautiful, you need several really good tools. And in addition to tools, you'll need a really good camera. And I've just started using this Nikon D3200, which has an extraordinarily good flash, as well as good daylight capabilities. So uh, remember, a good camera is very, very important. To make this beautiful sparkly uh, rim around the photo, uh, we're using a new tool, which we have created at Martha Stewart Living, and this is called a circle punch. So I'm going to use some of our glitter paper. This is very nice glitter paper, and we are going to uh, place the paper over the cutter, making sure that there will be plenty of space for it to cut a perfect circle. And then this gets put right back, and then this, the cutter, and now just press evenly down on the cutter, and there. Now to turn, just turn the little knob, one turn, and affix the cutter again, and another press. There. So that is starting to make your circle. And so now the magic. Take the cutter off, take the little turning mechanism off, and there you have a wonderful circle cut. We have to cut the pictures. To make sure that this doesn't move, put a little bit of masking tape on the corners. You don't want it sliding when you're doing your circle cut. And then position the center of the circle cutter in where you want the circle to be. And now get this little sharp knife cutter right into the correct hole and take it around can go around twice if you'd like to make sure. And remember, always cut on a cutting surface. This is one of those self-healing cutting boards, and it works so well. And so here you have Francesca and Sharky, very beautifully cut for the card. I love how that works. So now this is going to be taped right onto the glittered paper. You can use this magic double stick tape, put plenty on so it stays, and put this right on your glittered cutout. And then tie to a charming piece of brown craft paper. So now here, this is your card. You can write a message on the back if you like. Uh, and you can put this in an envelope and send it. And then when you take it out of the envelope, you can untie the card and have an ornament to hang on your tree. I love this idea so much. And the dogs love being part of your Christmas celebration. Where are you going, Franny? Don't fall off the table. The kids will love it, you'll love it, and your friends will certainly adore it.